This video shows how to work with a local data database in uh, WPF. So first I show how it works. This is my application and inside this, uh, with this application I collect a lot of entries, values, which are uh, results from a website and I want to save all those data in my local database. So how will I do this? Uh, for this I uh, added a da database and in this database I've written now with this, with this application my results. So how does this work? First I close this again. Uh, by default you always have only a database, uh, um, WPF application and inside the uh, inside this application you should uh, do it like the f in the following way that's how i do uh, create a new folder new folder add new folder and then add this data folder and inside this data folder we will add a new uh, here a uh, new item and inside items you will find that there's a data block and there you take the service based database the best way is that you say, okay, this is your database, let's say local DB or so it's local DB, let's say uh, local, local DB or, or name it by, by your, um, by the name of your project. When you do that, system will run and you will see below that uh, folder, you will get this entry. Now I already, this is a project database, it's a SQL server database and you will open the uh, the manager for that data manager by double clicking on there so this is the data connection and um, there is always it's always necessary that you have a look on the tables and in the tables you say add new table and there and there you should do the following. The first is always the ID field. Now let's say I want to make a ID detail, a detail table. So I say, okay, here, create table. And I always do it in the Hungarian notation. I think it's called like this. I say TBL for table details, for example. That's, I write this one here. That's the naming before, uh, before we update. And then uh, I do all the other um, design stuff here. So uh, I have always the ID field and then, for example, the URL in this case. So this is Envarcar 255. That's maximum. And here in the ID field, you have to go with the properties uh, you may do there the identific, uh, identity specification. Uh, double click on there and you will have it as an uh, incre auto increment field. So you don't have to care about this. The idea will always uh, loop up uh, by, by the server itself. So and in this manager, in this server explorer, you always do the update here. Uh, that's a little bit different to the SQL Server Management Studio. So make an update here and everything is there. And you may have a look on this on that table here. Update it also there. And there's show data table so you may see what you did there. Okay. So that's a simple way. And But now I will not work with this because I already prepared one database. When you are in this database uh, there, then use here from the database, you will see the properties. And inside the properties, there's a connection string. You should copy that block, copy it, and then go on your WPF uh, project to reference it. No, not references here, uh, settings. And there you say, this is my string user setting make here connection cn connection something like this and drop that stuff in there so you have it all all now i remove it again because i already have it there in my project after this you have it 
under your default, uh, under your uh, settings default. So you don't have to look it up all the way and it's on a central uh, position. I will close this again because I don't need it. Now I close it again, in this case. You will come up to this project by double clicking it. As you see, this the folder. The folder is always also visible on your project. Let's see here's my project. You see it also there. Uh, there's the data folder and now you have this project on there. I don't need this one anymore because I we said okay it's uh, just for demonstration. And you open the file by double clicking. So and this. Okay. Now how how will we work with this database? Uh, in my example I'm collecting uh, all stuff from my website and finally when I have it then I want one big function or method uh, which says okay update that record uh, the URL and the title for example. Now how does this work and how do we work with this database? Uh, inside there we should also always work this way that we create a SQL server or uh, transact um, string where we do the SQL server stuff. So this is select, insert and update commands. You will have a look up on those uh, commands. You will find them out uh, under the SQL server. That's not the main point at the moment. So we work here with the SQL or SQL uh, commands. We select something, select top top one one record from this database, uh, from this table where the URL is like something else. And here is uh, some apostrophes. So this is uh, this means that uh, that the field with this in this uh, brackets um, looking for this string for a string which is uh, similar. Now I want to have it like table give me a table and then do some ex do some insert um, executions so I for this case I always go uh, work this way I take the inside there I need the using data which means uh, I have the data table a data table is a simple table and all my database connection and all stuff I've created there for a class so I went here here in my project subfolder classes I created this one and I created also um, add a new class and they said okay this class is my class class DB and before there you're inserting static static means it's like shared uh, it's you don't open it as new class and doing some work with it you have straight access to this uh, methods it's uh, <coughs> that's the word static and in each method there's also static <coughs> so you don't have to create this class and uh, an object create an object by that and handling it and uh, delete deleting it after, after this anymore so we say first point what we need we need the connection to our database that's always the same stuff give me the connection from my properties properties settings default and there's my connection string then I say make create a SQL uh, connection that's the connection new connection with this string then my machine has connect uh, has connected this database and um, it uses an open connection if it's open otherwise it's opening it so I say okay if this connection the status to this database is not open then open it and I give back the connection to this uh, method so I create here a lot of uh, small methods and I'm using it uh, under the way so the first point is uh, I, what we from a database we always want to get some data from there so we say create me a method which is called as a return back a data table get me those data data table where I give you the SQL string 
it's like there. Uh, SQL, I know, give me the top one record from TBL uh, details where the URL is something and then give me that table from this DB. So I say, give me that stuff, take the def default connection, take the connection with which I defined here and then create a new table, open a SQL data adapter uh, with this SQL text and this con in this connection and fill, that added, uh, fill with this adapter the table. It's always in this case it's that's the adapter and it fills inside the table and then return the table. We need for this project this using namespace so that's SQL client and data, system data. And the same is for doing some update and some inserts Therefore, we need the SQL connect. Uh, we need the SQL command. So, create. Give me this connection to the database. Create a new SQL command. Command command, and with this SQL text and the connection, and execute non-query. That's it. We don't need anything else. So, you will find this code on my. And it, you will find this code on my code doco. And I take this link to my my application network. Where do I have it? In this case, SQL uh, Net Net Framework WPF code samples. And there is my add WPF local database. You will find that block there, and you will find the code for creating a data table. And uh, be careful. Be careful. That's what I also see here. Uh, when you work with the tables. Um, always work with the designer block in here. Don't work with this one because when you make some changings here, for example, if I, you change this in Valkar for a smaller number, then the entire field will be deleted and uh, created again. So this is because it's a create uh, transact command. Then we also ha you also have here the description of what you have to do. There's my code example. And there is my static code, which is a small uh, block, a basic basic block where you may find uh, uh, rudimental methods for using with this database.